Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Of course, you know my name is Terry. if you are new, and I like to focus on fragrance-related videos. If you're interested in that type of content, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And after this video is over, if you like the vibe, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Um, always leave me comments, guys, because that's where I love to connect with you guys and kind of get an idea of who I'm talking to and what you guys like. And if you have any requests, always make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Okay, guys, so probably about a month ago, um, I was actually <laughs> requested this video um, by Kia from Yummy411. Hey, Kia. Um, Kia is so sweet, y'all. That's my girl here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And we love to talk about fragrances and we're very supportive of each other. And I am so excited that she put in a request. I told her it may take a minute. So here we are, though. I'm definitely doing it, Kia. Um, she wanted to know what is the five fragrances that I've been wearing lately. And guys, to be honest, I've been wearing the fragrances I picked. I have been wearing a lot more than my other fragrances, but I have really been on a sample kick because I have been sampling so many fragrances and trying to figure out which one will be my next purchase. But as far as which fragrances that I have been wearing, I definitely am secure with these five. I've been wearing these pretty, pretty regularly, okay? All right, so I'm going to jump right on in. I don't want this video to be too long, but the first scent that I want to talk about is one that I actually have a review on my channel. So if you want to know more about it, then you definitely can watch that video. But this is the House of Siage WW84. This is from the Wonder Woman collection. Because I got this a couple of, well, however long ago it was, I have been rocking it. Of course, I was trying it out. And if you, like I said, if you watch that review, then you already know that I was having problems with not per se longevity, but just the Siage and projection. And I was, oh, smells good. I was trying to figure out how I could make this fragrance do more, you know, for me for the cost. Because, of course, y'all already know this is like $395. Because it was a limited edition and all that rah, rah But I have been wearing her a lot. And as you can see, look at that bottle. <laughs> look at that. Look how much juice I got left, guys. That's ridiculous. Anyway, so you know I've been wearing it, right? Okay, so I've been wearing this scent a lot. This is basically like pink pepper. There's some vanilla, um, some raspberry notes, orris, almond. It smells good though. And I absolutely love it. I was trying it out, so I was rocking her almost every day. I know I did over a week straight wearing this fragrance. And I have been throwing her in here and there. And sometimes at night, I put this on. But I absolutely love this scent. It's a very sweet um, spicy vanilla to the point. This almost puts me in the mind of honey from the Chane, to be honest. Um, which, of course, I'll show you. It's already on my list. Y'all know that now. And they kind of put me in the mind of each other. It's that spicy vanilla kick. So, I'm loving this one. Easy grab, okay? Easy grab. You just have to layer her to make sure she stays put. The longevity is good, like I said, but I just like people to smell me when I come around. I like people to, you know, get a will for me. And this one is really good, though. Okay, guys, another one that I have absolutely been loving and wearing to death is Andromeda by Tiziana Terenzi. And this scent is really popular on YouTube now. <laughs> but this is bergamot, there's grass. Oh my God, there's some ylang ylang. There's water jasmine, lily, rose, peach. And in the base, you're going to get coconut and amber. Oh, good. It's so good. Vanilla, there's cashmere. This is sugar. Tonka bean, there's so many ingredients in this little bottle here. But when I tell you an easy everyday wear, like there's nothing you have to think about. You throw this on, you're going to feel good. You're going to get so many compliments. I actually wore this out shopping not too long ago. And when I was out shopping, this lady stopped me with our mask on. And she was like, I just had to tell you, you smell so divine. Like, I was like, really? You can smell me through my, your mask or whatever? She was like, you smell so good, baby. That's how she told me. You smell so good. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I love this scent. This is very, very beautiful. It's floral. And I had been testing her out because, like, I had been trying her before I bought the bottle. So, when I say I'm testing something out, I usually, I've been going through a lot of samples, trying to make sure I want to invest before I make these purchases at this point because my purchases are not little cheap purchases anymore. I've been on my big girl status for a while now, but this one here, 
It's absolutely gorgeous and I've been loving her. Okay, again, let's move on. I'm gonna throw my baby in here. This is Nashani Ani. Y'all already know this is bergamot. There's some green notes, ginger, there's some pepper, um, rose, black currant, vanilla musk, and there's some sandalwood. And this is everything. That's all I can say. I've been wearing the out of her, okay? I wore her every day to the point where it was just getting ridiculous. Like I had my little sample and I was like, man, I hate to even spray it anymore until I get my bottle. So when I got my bottle, I was like, look at this. Like, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Y'all see this? Okay, I'm not playing. When I tell you I'm wearing my stuff, I'm wearing my stuff, okay? So yeah, that's Nashani Ani. Spicy, sexy, unique vanilla is so good, guys. All right, let me move on. Okay, and another one that I have been wearing and wearing is actually called Poppy and Barley. This is from Joe Malone. Of course, like I said, you guys can see. Y'all can see. You know, these are new purchases for me. And I actually blind bought this one. It smells so good, though, guys. Okay, let me pick it up. This is... Of course, poppy. And there's some with those red poppies. Um, of course, there's some barley. I want to say there's jasmine or something in here, but it's really sweet. There's some musk because I'm getting some musky notes. Clean. It smells so good. It almost smells like there's sandalwood in here. It kind of puts you in the mind of a more fresh and feminine, just girly clean smelling lalabo 33 which i don't like that scent because the sandalwood is too heavy in there but this one is fresh it's feminine it's bright it never gets it's fruity because there's i think it's black currant in this because you can smell some fruity notes yeah i think it's black currant but it never gets cloying it's just a light fresh you can wear it's definitely fall appropriate like this is a very fall appropriate scent i can't wait to wear it more and more but it smells so good guys and again, this is Poppy and Barley from Jo Malone. This is like, try to get your nose on it. If you had not smelled this one, this smells really good and fresh and feminine. I love it. Okay, guys. The last one that I've been wearing a lot is a new purchase for me. But again, I had a sample and I had, I wore the sample out. And I, had, I was considering whether or not I needed a full bottle of this because I absolutely, I knew I loved it, but I didn't know. And... My husband solidified this purchase for me because I remember I was in the kitchen one day. I was cooking and he kind of came behind me. He like wrapped up behind me and he put his little, you know, nose in my neck. And he was like, oh, baby, you smell so good. And I'm like, really? So when you tell me I smell good, honey, and I'm already on the fence, I'm finna get it. So this one is an oriental fragrance. Of course, it has pepper and cinnamon. Again, I love the cinnamon notes, the spicy notes. It's amber. There's some leather patchouli and then a base sandalwood and white musk this is a beautiful scent guys it's so appropriate to me i would wear this as a signature this is like an everyday scent for me um nothing really complex but it's so beautiful and on my skin it's intoxicating for me like when i smell it i get like an instant high you know how like some fragrances when you smell them like somebody else may think they're really basic but when you smell them it gives you an instant like confidence boost you feel good you smile you're just happy like this is this scent for me it's just a happy scent i could wear it i wear it a lot at night i wear it all day like when i first got this sample literally every day like i didn't know i was going back and forth on this and the shiny honey so this is good guys and this is by byron perfumes this is so freaking delicious to me so again this is the chronic been wearing the poo out of her and i absolutely love it and it's a unisex scent but it's beautiful all right guys so that's it for me those are the five scents that i have been wearing the most uh, recently and i appreciate you so much kia for requesting this video i hope you guys enjoy it again like if you did hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me also make sure you leave me some comments on some sense what's some sense that you've been wearing lately guys i really would like to know that any sense that you think i should be looking into i always recommend um you testing your fragrances that's what i've been doing a lot lately i do i do feel like i'm the queen of blind buying but i'm kind of getting over that for a little bit because it's like even though i'm still blind buying i am just like you spending too many coins 
to keep blind by and the scents are just mediocre i want to love everything that i have so anyway y'all didn't ask for that you know i always give y'all some extra all right guys so i'm gonna head on out of here y'all make sure y'all take care of each other be all be safe be blessed and i will see you on the next one all right guys until then y'all keep on smelling good guys and ladies